Hey guys, the objective of this video is to consider rectilinear motion with variable acceleration. So as I said in the introduction video on rectilinear motion, uh, we sometimes have problems where we have variable acceleration and we can't use the formulas we've been using uh, in the previous videos. So usually we'll be given uh, displacement as a function of time. So, and from that we can work out our velocity function and our acceleration function. Uh, we can also be given velocity as a function of time or acceleration as a function of time. And so long as we have some initial parameters, uh, we should be able to work out the equations for uh, the other types of motion. So with that in mind, we'll jump into doing, it, doing an example. So this example we've got here is we've got an object which has a displacement uh, function of t squared minus 2t plus 9. So that's the function. Uh, we've been asked to find displacement, velocity, and acceleration at t equals 6. So t equals 6 seconds, we'll say. So uh, looking back above, we have a function for um, displacement. And if we want to work out velocity, we need to derive um, this function. So we'll start off, actually, we'll start off by just looking at the um, displacement because we can work out the displacement at 6 seconds straight away because we have that relationship. So we have this relationship here. If we put in, um, if we substitute S uh, 6 for T, we end up with 33 meters. So we know at six seconds, uh, we have a displacement of 33 meters from this starting point. Uh, to work out velocity now, we're going to derive this equation. So we're going to, um, yeah, basically just find the derivative of this equation. And that's VT, so VT, we just 